I'll trade you for this. Welcome to another exciting episode from Marvelous Videos. I'm your host, Tia Ayer. Tarak, the badass dinosaur hunter who spawned popular comic strips and games. Introduction. What if you were flung into a world full of dinosaurs and barbarians with only your wits to help you survive? Do you think you'll be able to make it out of such a situation alive? This is precisely what happened to Tarak and his friend Andar, who found themselves in a deserted, forgotten land plagued by dinosaurs and barbaric men. But Tarak's twisted life story is only one of the things that made Tarak a true hero in the eyes of seasoned comic book readers and gamers, as you will soon discover. There was much more to this enigmatic character than just the situation that he was forcefully thrown into. Tarak is one of the most exciting and mysterious superheroes ever published by Dynamite. Created by Gaylord Du Bois and Rex Maxson, this superhero has also been published by Whitman, Valiant, Dark House, Acclaim, Gold Key, and Dell. Tarak is hailing from the Mandan tribe. He and his friend Andar end up near the New Mexico Carlsbad Caverns, where they discover a lost land, also known as the Sewer of the Universe. It is a land infested with dinosaurs and deadly barbarians. Tarak and his friend have to face these terrifying creatures from the Earth's dead past. Armed with only their own courage, wit, and resourcefulness, Tarak's life is one of constant peril and challenges. He spends a significant portion of his time battling these dinosaurs, or honkers as he and his friend like to call them, and barbarians, all in an attempt to finally escape the Lost Valley and return home. This iconic comic book character has also spawned a number of popular video games. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. I'll trade you for this. Origins in the Animated Movie Explored In the 2008 animated movie titled Turok, Son of Stone, Turok, the main protagonist along with his Native American companion Andar, is transported to the Lost Lands while chasing Chichok and Katori. The film begins with Turok, his brother Nashoba, and Katori playing tag with Katori's necklace as it tumbles into the river. She taunts the two boys by saying that whoever finds it first gets a kiss. Both are willing to accept her challenge and plunge into the river to recover it. They end up, however, stumbling upon a rival clan celebration, where one of the members of the other clan has picked up the necklace. Tarok demands it be returned, and the man instructs his companions to kill the boys and abduct the girl. When members of the opposing tribe move in to murder him, Tarok viciously kills them in a fit of anger. When the men are dead, Tarok's brother Nashoba approaches him and rests his hand on his shoulder, signaling that it is time for him to withdraw. Tarok, still enraged, attacks and injures him as if he were an opponent. He then comes to his senses, and he realizes what he has done. He and Katori rush Neshoba back to their village where Turok is tried for his actions. His spirit is barbaric, it does not belong among them, and the tribe chief concludes. They decide that he is a risk to the clan and warn that blood follows blood and that the rival clan will seek vengeance. And it is soaked in blood. From blood follows blood. Tarak gets expelled from the tribe for his actions. Tarak becomes a great and fearsome warrior in the forest after his exile. Sixteen years after his banishment, he is approached by Andar. Andar informs him that his brother has been appointed chief. However, a rival tribe has declared war on them, the same tribe that Tarak slaughtered, led by the son of the man who first taunted Tarak. Tarak refuses to fight on their behalf, reminding Andar that it is not his war. Andar departs to inform his father and Katori, who is now his father's wife, of the news. Andar's tribe prepares for the impending fight by setting out in the nighttime to meet their opponents in the swamp. Chichok, the son of Tarak's taunter, leads the opposing tribe, equipped with weapons stolen from American settlers. Andar's tribe fights fiercely, but is eventually overwhelmed by the might of better weapons. Neshoba and the leader of the tribe and Andar's father is fatally wounded. He orders Andar to escape to someplace far away as he dies. Andar returns to Tarak, informing him that they have been defeated and that the enemy would soon head to the village to kidnap their women. Tarak goes to the village to confront them. When he arrives, he runs into Chichok, who immediately recognizes Tarak. 
let her go. They both get into a fearsome battle, but Chachalk manages to escape on horseback with Katori. Tarak and Andar follow them into a deep cave, where they once again encounter Chachalk. However, a terrifying creature from the cave attacks them, causing chaos and allowing Chachalk to once again flee with Katori. Tarak and Andar vanquish the monster and go down to the depths of the cave. This cave suddenly opens up into a blazing noon sun. Andar is surprised by the quick emergence of day and asks how it is possible when they had just been in the pitch black darkness. Tarak becomes certain that they are in the underworld as they continue onto their quest for Chachok and Katori, encountering dinosaurs and other prehistoric fauna in the Lost Lands. Many of its viewers have praised this movie for its brutal, gritty themes and gory visuals, hailing that it is a fantastic animated film for adults. The film has excellent animations for its time and is packed with fast-paced action and bloodshed. The most tremendous appeal of the film lies in its unique identity, with the first half acting like a typical Native American film and the second half adding mythical, prehistoric elements to the story. It is a violent and entertaining throwback to the original Turok comics. It is definitely a must-watch for the OG comic book enjoyers, gamers, and Turok fans alike. To rock in comic books. Originating in early 1950s, the early Gold Key comics depicted Turok as a curious young Native American man who fought dinosaurs with his best friend. In the early 90s, the Valiant comics introduced us to a more popular Turok, the version of Turok that is more familiar to a majority of us. In these newer comics, Turok was a robust and muscular warrior who hunted not just dinosaurs, but demons, beasts, and all sorts of horrifying nightmares. The more contemporary dinosaurs were also given a more modern upgrade. They supported a bunch of bionic enhancements and other strange accompanying accessories. This more modern take on the original became a big hit with the public. It took the character to new heights of popularity. In the Valiant universe, Turok is a Native American Kiowa warrior from the Dakotas. He is a skilled archer who uses a bow that contains powerful futuristic technology. He also appears to age very slow during this time spent in the Lost Land. Turok is a warrior who combines his ancient wisdom with cutting-edge technology. He is known as the Son of Stone because of his calm demeanor, stoicism, and emotionless nature. Turok and his comrade Andar are both Kiowa Native American who become trapped in the cosmic anomaly known as the Lost Valley or the Lost Land. The Lost Valley is inhabited by both dinosaurs, which the two friends refer to as honkers, and the warriors of the Lost Land a race of prehistoric, barbaric men with great strength. The two friends fall through a sinkhole while hunting north of Rio Grande into a tunnel that opens into a mysterious location where time no longer holds any relevance. My secret. You must find and destroy all of the soul gates before the undead can escape the city. Later, Mother God Erica Pierce enters the Lost Valley with an army of robots from the future and begins to take over the land by erecting a city of her own. Turok and Andar, in an unsuccessful attempt to defeat the Mother God, led the cavern warriors against the robots. Their efforts are mostly in vain until Magnus, a robot fighter, arrives in the Lost Land and helps them turn the tide into their favor. When Mother God dies, the Lost Land vanishes, and Turok and the remaining dinosaurs flee to the Earth, armed with his futuristic weapon. Weaponry. Turok chases down the last of the dinosaurs in South America and the Southwest United States. Turok later goes on to combat clone dinosaurs and the Spider People, a group of warriors natives to the Lost Land. The title of the warrior Turok is typically a mantle passed down from one generation of the Fireseed bloodline to the next, with the eldest son of the previous Turok being honored with the title and the responsibilities that accompany it. In the Acclaim universe, Turok is a title given to the warriors of an American Indian family lineage who have secretly shielded Earth from the invasion of races of advanced, futuristic dinosaurs and other extraterrestrial life forms from the lost land of Galeana. Turok means son of stone, child of the land, or protector of the Earth in the fictional Sequin language. The mantle of Turok is passed down from generation to generation, with the eldest son of the preceding Turok receiving the title and its responsibilities. Turok is a title reserved only for the Fireseed family 
family. However, in times of necessity, a female or another male member of the Fireseed family may also shoulder this title. The burden of obligations that accompany this title is simply too enormous to bear for someone unfamiliar with the ways of the Turok. Turok initially appears in Del Cartina's Gaylord Du Bois' one-shot title for color in issue number 596. It was supposed to be a continuation of his earlier series, Young Elk with the characters of Turok and Andar in the leading roles. It is still unknown who came up with the names Turok and Andar, which replaced the identities of Young Elk and Smallbow in this first Turok story. Issue number three of Dell's comic title Turok, Son of Stone, released in 1956, mentions that Turok and his friend Andar enter a strange mythical sunken valley in the Carlsbad area in the days before the arrival of the white man. The valley, which extends almost endlessly, is actually an enormous cavern whose roof fell centuries ago. The warm springs and moisture-heavy atmosphere present in this cavern have preserved most of the prehistoric life that has now become extinct everywhere else around the world. These lands have also introduced Turok and his friend to the barbarians living here, humans who even now live in prehistoric times and are ignorant of how even bows and arrows work. Turok and his friend work together to teach these men the art of archery. There are many other versions of Turok's origin story, which each version differing slightly from publisher to publisher. A genetically engineered dinosaur hybrids. They are utterly evil and very dangerous. Though they do the primogen's bidding, the dinosaurs have a more sinister and personal agenda. Turok and Video Games In 1997, Nintendo 64 released Turok Dinosaur Hunter, just a few months after the console's release. This was the first Nintendo game explicitly designed for joysticks. It also sported a surprising amount of violence on screen. The combination of these two characters made the game a huge success, exceeding all expectations. The Turok brand became a true worldwide phenomenon. Dinosaur Hunter was developed by Iguana Entertainment. It was adapted from a comic with the same same name. Both have been published by Acclaim. It was released in 1997 in North America and Europe for the Nintendo 64 as well as Windows computers. The player plays in the first person as Tarak himself, also known as Talset, a Native American warrior and time traveler. He is tasked with stopping the villain, who is called the Campaigner, from conquering the universe with his ancient and mighty weapon. The Tarak title is passed down with the generations to the eldest male of each generation. Each Turok is tasked with defending the barrier that separates Earth from the Lost Land. In this primordial cosmic realm, time does not exist. The Lost Land is home to a wide variety of deadly species from dinosaurs to aliens. The wicked tyrant campaigner wants the Chrono Scepter, an ancient object so powerful that it was shattered into pieces to prevent it from falling into the wrong hands. The campaigner intends to amplify the Chrono Scepter's power to demolish the walls that divide the centuries of time in order to rule the cosmos. Turok must uncover the Chrono Scepter's eight components and foil the campaigner's plan in order to save the universe from the villainous reign of terror. Following the game's success, the game was an all set to be converted from PlayStation by Sculpted Software, one of Acclaim's internal studios. But this endeavor never saw the light of day. The success of this video game encouraged Acclaim to create more sequels. Each mainline game in the series was also accompanied by its own Game Boy release. To Rock 2, Seed of Evil was published in 1998 as a sequel to the original game of the Nintendo 64 and PC. In this game, players took on the role of Joshua Fireseed, a new Turok. Fireseed is on a mission to fight an extraterrestrial known as Primogen. Seeds of Evil received very excellent reviews and is regarded as one of the finest shooter games of all time, owing to its plot of the new multiplayer component. To Rock 3, Shadow of Oblivion, the third game in the Turok series, was published in 2000 for the Nintendo 64 and Game Boy Color. Two years after Seeds of Evil, the plot picked up with Joshua, his sister Danielle, and brother Joseph battling a cosmic monster known as Oblivion. Joseph and Danielle are both playable characters, either of which can be selected. Acclaim then went on to release Turok, Rage Wars, a true deathmatch-style game. This game boasted exclusive unique weapons such as freeze rays, sticky grenades, and large needles that injected opponents with a deadly dose of chest-burning aliens. After the popularity of the N64 died down, Acclaim released a Turok sequel titled Turok Evolution in 2002 for the PlayStation 2. This was the final Turok game that Acclaim released. 
Evolution was published for the PlayStation 2, Xbox, GameCube, PC, and Game Boy Advance. It was a prologue to Dinosaur Hunter with Talset battling Captain Bruckner and humanoid reptiles known as the Sledge. Before the 2008 remake, Evolution was the final game in the Turok series. It earned mediocre reviews because of the poor AI and uninteresting plot. Propaganda Games relaunched the series in 2008. This rendition garnered mixed to mediocre reviews when it was released on the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC. In this game, players took on the character of Joseph Turok, a Native American of Kiowa heritage. He is a Marine in the Whiskey Company crew. Turok and his men are sent to a distant planet to catch his previous commander, the Wolf Pack leader, Roland Kane. Upon reaching the planet, they discover that it is home to dinosaurs and other predatory monsters after crash landing, and they must fight them off while battling the Wolf Pack and chasing the leader's former instructor. A sequel was planned, but was canceled before it could ever be revealed. Night Dive Studios went on to produce a remastered version of the original game. Also, they created created a sequel titled Turok 2 for PCs. The original remaster was released in 2015 for computers and later on for Xbox One and Nintendo Switch consoles too. This game was a decidedly indie take on the original Nintendo game, but unlike the violence of Nintendo games of the 90s, this modern version takes most of its inspiration from the storyline of the first comic book series and stays faithful to the original. What makes Turok so powerful? Turok has a host of different abilities that make him an insanely powerful superhero and a formidable opponent. He's an outstanding marksman and archer. He is also a skilled fighter who uses ancient Native American weapons. The weapons he uses includes the Gunstock Battle Club, tomahawks, arrows, and knives. He is an herbalist and shaman who is familiar with a variety of medicinal poultices and poisons. He also has nearly perfect control over his emotions, allowing him to ignore fear or, on the flip side, descend into a frantic berserker fury that seems to freeze time for him, allowing him to respond quickly and granting him with great bloodlust. Turok ages exceptionally slowly as the result of his time in the Lost Realm. His time there has confused his cells because of which they just continue to multiply indefinitely, preventing him from aging. Turok is an expert tracker and hunter Hunter, capable of following trails that are days or weeks old. He is also a master of assassination and stealth. Conclusion: Due to his unique origin and storyline, Tarak will remain a true legendary character and superhero in both comic books and video games. His gritty and stoic character and the insane challenges that he faces in each new version of his story are not something that readers and game players are easy to forget. His mythical heritage and fighting spirit add to the allure that the character has. He also holds an undeniably important spot to fans of Nintendos and hardcore gamers, having been the titular character to one of the most iconic video game series ever created. The exciting stories and universes surrounding the character make him all the more memorable to everyone who has enjoyed reading the comic books or playing the games that he has been a part of. He is an incredibly large and undeniably essential part of their childhoods to many. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone!